G'day, mate, and welcome back to Ixion with me, Jitty. We ended the last episode with, um, the people telling me how I was wonderful and I was possibly a robot or, a, well, a computerized personal assistant because, um, I did such a good job. Such a good job of taking care of them and that's the important thing we need to remember. And because I've done such an important job and such a good job of taking care of them, you can see why the video is worth a like, right? Right early in the video, it's definitely worth a like. And yeah, maybe, you know, you should scroll down at the same time when you're doing the like thing and look at the subscribe button. If, if it happens to be red, it probably needs to be clicked on. Just check, just check. Maybe it is red. Maybe it is red. Maybe you think you're already subscribed, but you're not actually. Completed its scan. But we've got probes out and, out and about, which means we need to talk about what we're going to be doing today. Today, we have a couple of things we need to do. Um, First off, I have extra hours working condition in the first sector, which is not good. We're going to try and alleviate that a little bit by turning off a stockpile. It means that technically I can't load more cryopods into here, but that should be okay. It's going to take them a little while to defrost the ones they have in there. We're just going to have to micro it on and off for a little while. Uh, second sector, we also have extra working conditions. I'm going to turn off that, that, and that because we don't technically need them, and that'll get us back to optimal working conditions as well. The other reason I want optimal working conditions is we get a plus uh, five for repairs, out of, a, you know, repairing the hull, which is sort of important. I just need more peepsicles defrosted. We're really limited by peepsicle defrosting at the same, uh, at, right at the moment. As for our third sector, there was a small mistake that was made, which was uh, the lack of an infirmary. So we're going to whack one of those in there. At the same time, we are going to get an airlock up and running, but I'm not going to get a fusion station. I put it in the wrong spot. Uh, I do need a road from here to here and into here. And I do actually need uh, factories, factories, factories. I do actually need the fusion station, but it's going to go right the way over here. And it's going to unfortunately block the doors. There's not a lot I can do about it. It's just how it has to be for right now. Okay, so that's a plan uh, across the docks. Just for, for right, oh, unpause you. Load in some more people. And four, great, pause you again. It's just how it is until we get enough workers. Um, we have a situation where if we come in the population management, uh, has at sector one has a few too many injured people, sector two has way too many injured people, and sector three has injured people as well. Hopefully if we can get that hospital up and running, uh, they'll be happy, hopefully. Uh, so that's our plan for our three sectors. Now there are lots of things we need to do, lots of uh, upgrades we need to do, lots of technology we need to cover. Um, but first off, I need to talk about probably, let's talk about the first sector. So the first sector was doing our food. They're going to eventually stop doing our food. We're not going to do food in the first sector anymore. We're going to move that to sector three. Yes, uh, sector two is still doing industrial. We have a whole lot of temporary storage and other things in here. We're going to end up ripping that out and using it for other temporary things before it finally becomes its, its final form, so to speak. Uh, one thing I probably should do is I should probably assign uh, three more transport ships just so wall O. No, it's wall E. It's wall E. Okay. Should assign three more transport ships uh, just so we can get uh, more resources dragged back faster. We need a way to process the resources faster, but, you know, one job at a time. Uh, can I unpause you? Oh, we can stay at optimal conditions here. Perfect. All right, uh, third sector. So third sector needs to have the fusion station up and running. And then we need to finish the technology, which we just finished, for the crop farm. These right here. Now, the crop farms we're going to be putting here, here, and here. Uh, and can I get a road, please, from there to there? The crop farms are interesting. Um, they allow for the creation, creation of automatic harvesting up to nine crop fields using a significant amount of water to produce a large amount of food. So I need to get ice into this sector, which we haven't even mined yet at this point. Also, um, these need to have fields built onto them. So I'm going to have to build a whole bunch of fields as well. Also, we're going to turn them off for the moment because, well, I don't have a way of actually getting fields and things attached to them. Overworked. Can I turn you off? Can't turn you off. Can't turn you off. Great. Optimal. Technically, we're bad on food. Okay. Uh, it's fine. We just need more people. I need more peepsicles. We need to defrost the peepsicles faster. Okay. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to go out to fleet management and I need to start mining ice. So we're going to up the priority on mining ice and lower the priority on mining iron. We have a lot of iron available to be picked up, but not nearly enough ice. At the same time, probes... Uh, I should probably keep probing things. Preferably resources. Uh, ice right there with some carbon. I'll take the carbon at the same time. Thank you very much. Great. 
We need to get ice up and running. We need to get ice moved in. Uh, we should also probably look at Fargo for some bonus research. So, probe scans detected emergency message broadcasting on dollars frequency. However, the transmission protocol is different to the one used by the Taiku and its auxiliary craft. A window of opportunity appears to be opening. A temporary cessation of the high wind speeds of Fargo 39. Probably should have led with that. Has given us a clear zone in which to operate. Uh, we took advantage of the drop in wind speed and set a delay on Fargo 39. Gravity is intense and several of our measuring instruments have failed despite the extremely hostile environment. We're preparing to make a sortie to the signal location. So we can send an experience scout, i.e. a single person, and hope for the best. Uh, whilst the rest of the crew sits in the gear's cockpit and directs them could work we can send all of the crew uh equipment standing issue has a gear that does not sound like the best option we just send a small team of specialists don't forget his science ship has five people on it so a small team is well two uh maybe three maybe three uh using standard issue has a gear and proceed whilst the rest of them sit in the gears cockpit at least that means if they die we at least keep the ship yeah, and some of the crew. Or we're going to deploy the whole crew and reinforce exoskeletons. Consider we have exoskeleton technology. It seems like our best option. It's going to take four cycles, so we don't have to worry about that for a little while. Uh, have these ships been built? No, but they're being built right now. Okay, so uh, this sector. Yes, we need to build in these. We also need to transport all the material across and get this done. We also are going to have a significant amount of housing in here because we're going to need a significant amount of people to run all the farms. Um, This whole sector is going to end up being nothing but farms. I have five people. How much do you need? Eight. Of course you do. You need nine. Uh, what can I turn off? Well, technically I can turn off on you and resource management we are bringing in 50 you are keeping 20 you're keeping 70 so hopefully if i push that up higher we can get more materials in here faster also being that ice thing we're talking about um can i unselect you for that resource and select you for ice instead and hopefully i can turn you on yes i can all right so our plan is to get in as many materials as we can at the same time fleet management uh can i prioritize you for ice A probe has completed and then scan. low priority for everything else great okay uh at the same time yeah it's not an ideal position uh I don't have a heap of iron. Oh, I really have no iron. Okay, unselect iron, unselect, no, boom. Select iron. Hopefully get the iron ship from there to there and... Actually, can I turn you on? Yeah, I can turn you on. All right, hopefully I can get you emptied for iron and turned on for ice instead. Because I'd really prefer ice to be here. Uh, and hopefully they'll get shipped in faster. Not that we're short on steel, but, you know, we, we like spending it. Uh... You are not being built because why it's being shipped in right now all right and workers so i still have a problem with, very much with workers i also have a problem with i don't know what you're gonna do uh actually you're gonna do help with silicon yeah uh troy go help with the silicon Okay, uh, research. Research is another thing we should talk about. So we've unlocked the crop farm. Now, there is other farming technology. We'll talk about that in the future. There's lots of technology we'll talk about in the future. The first, well, the next technology I'm going to want is the DLS Center. Unlocks the ability to apply policies within a sector to temporarily address ongoing concerns and track sector specialization. Sounds important. We're going to grab that one. Okay, with that done uh, and peepsicles being defrosted, we should be good for a little while. Now, I need extra workers. I have, uh, let's go with 252, and I like to have a buffer of like five at least. So from sector one, uh, it's going to ship out, what, three, four, nine? Nine, I think? I don't know. Uh, nine from sector one to sector three, please. What's that leave me? A five-man buffer. Well, you're unfreezing more. Uh, let's ship out another has completed attack. five, just on the off chance. Sure, the buffer's very small now. Uh, sector 2 has a decent buffer. You're going to ship out iron. Okay, so I'm going to unselect iron from here. Uh, can I turn you on? So you can actually start shipping it out. And then... 
we're just going to unselect iron from all these. Now, a couple of people have mentioned that they're having problems with um, logistics and efficiency of the, 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 the storages, and I totally agree. I'm having the exact same problem uh, because since I made the original Sector video, uh, the game had a patch. The game had a patch which um, decreased the amount of transporters each building gets or each stockpile gets, which is unfortunate. So... Yeah, something to keep in mind, you may need two for things like iron, because you tend to go through a lot of it. Um, okay, we have complete. our first one of these. Okay, with our first one of these, uh, we can turn on those two again. Excellent. Administrator, a That's a little while away. Your Is it important? Come back to that. Science ship, uh, Fargo. Private source of signal transmission. We found a cargo ship unknown class that bears resemblance to one we use in the Taiku. It's embedded within the rock face below a large promontory. High winds making the balance unstable. That sounds like a horrible place. So, uh, we can recover the archive digital data from the cargo ship and return it to the gear. We can survey the cargo ship and recover the archive data and return to the gear. Or we can recover the data from the cargo ship and, it, and attempt an EKP repair for cargo recovery. I like cargo. No idea what the cargo is. Uh, we didn't get told what the cargo is, but we're going to try this one. Because, you know, big risk, big reward. Something like that. Uh, probes. Can I get another probe to... Good question. Hopefully you're not in the ice field. Uh, okay. Back into here. Uh, let's look at this. Uh, hi to Incan says base food is still a little tainted by prejudiced feelings of disgust. Blades about food source are increasing a diverse diet and necessary ingredients for a social piece. Uh, 30 cycles. I can actually do that. I can do that. We're on our way to doing that right now. Okay, so farms. We get to build farm plots, and I can build up to nine of them. And this sector is sort of designed around exactly that happening. Now, I should mention, uh, every farm... So, the... Hang on. The farm itself requires four people. Every plot requires another four people. So... Crap, we're extra hours? Turn that off, I guess. Okay. Uh, every plot's going to require an extra four people. So, it's something we need to keep in mind. Uh, obviously, I don't have a lot of workers. I have all of three available in this sector. But I'm going to need at least a plot so you actually start working. On top of that, we need water. So, you know, it's a catch to me too. Uh, I need the fusion setup, which needs 10 workers running. Plus, I'm going to actually need water in this sector. Which means we need to ship from sector 1, uh, sector 2, to sector 3, uh, 80 water. Let's go with 80 water. Um, it's turned off, but um, we'll just push from this side to that side. Okay, can I... You're already turned off for iron. You're turned off for iron. Yeah, okay, we should be good on that. Uh, I can turn you off, off. We have carbon. Uh, and you're doing steel as well. That should be fine. Yeah, I've got to sort of stay on top of storages until we finalize the storage. All right. All uh, right. Workers. Now, the only thing I can do to speed up things is defrosticate people faster, which I'd love to do. I'd really, really love to do, uh, but population, uh, cryogenic center requires 15 people and space. Space is my biggest issue. Here would be the next logical place to put one of these, uh, or maybe right really now, because I still need to remove that insect farm. So probably here, probably here. But I don't really have the room. I could turn that off. Do we need the happiness? We don't need the happiness. All right, how bad is food? Food's at 109. If I turn that off, food's at 102. That saved me eight workers, which means I have two workers short. We could probably do this. Uh, we're going to dismantle you, and then we're going to put in another defrosting setup because that's pretty much my main goal for the, right the moment. I don't have any more cryopods on stock, uh, on hand. So, yeah, we're going to send wall off, wall O, to do a little bit of everything at low priority. Um, silicon. You can also help out in the silicon farm. Uh, sure. All right, can I get population? We're going to put in the cryogenic center right here with two bits of road, and you're done and connected. 
I do need to turn that on so you can actually access the microchips. And we should be good to go. Science, you done? No, you're not done. All right. Uh, probes. Where haven't we probed yet? Uh, a little bit all over the place. Let's try... That might be too close to the ice. It's probably okay. Like, we do have these ones that are... Eh, let's do a void... Let's do a void. Oh, actually, no. Have, do, we, we have got the science upgrades for the ships, right? Nope. Uh, I would really like... We've done the DLC center. Let's do the self-welding and the improvised repair protocols for the shippy shippies. In the meantime, I think that's outside the area. I don't think that's outside the area. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's deeply inside the area. So we'll definitely turn those on to a void as well. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Back inside shippy shippy. Uh, all right, so we have our first farm. Oh, you won't be built unless you're turned on. I remember that. Okay, so you're built. You just need the construction bot to actually come over here and give you a quick massage, and then you should be good to go. We have not nearly enough people in every sector, which is an ongoing problem. Uh, I don't need you running anymore. Oh! Happy New Year, Administrator. There you go! One year in space and we're still alive. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I do say myself. Uh, I remove iron, remove iron. Hopefully that gets that stuff shipped out. Cryopods for Sector 1 are not set up. Okay, let's ship the cryopods into here and science, 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 science. Okay. Uh, we've returned to the gear, recovered, data has been skewered and analyzed. As for the cargo ship, uh, she almost broke up, leaving the planet's atmosphere, but seems to have held up okay. Well, we got 40 extra cryopods, so that fixes that problem, and 30 bonus research, which means I should be able to get the upgrades for the ships to mean that they're a little bit more resistant at dealing with the uh, space weather. Space weather. Still... Space, space weather. All right. I need more people. That's really what it boils down to for right now. I also, I, I also need to put in batteries in the sector, which we can look at in a second. Uh, we also need the DLS center. Now, same story. I don't have the people to run this, but um, we might as well put it down. It is five by seven, uh, which is... So I have a six by eight tile section. Yeah, I don't really... It's an odd building and I don't have a better spot for it. Uh, so we're going to drop you right there. Okay, we're also going to plan ahead and actually turn that off. Plan ahead, we're going to put in... Thanks. In maintenance center right there and also factories. Uh, no, maintenance. Workshop right there. Again, I'm just going to turn these off, but we're sort of going to start planning out this whole sector. Uh, okay, so we've retrieved all the science. We're going to send gear on to Valiant. Yeah, that's just outside the zone. Well, so if ships are flying through the zone, we get a red line when they're going through dangerous weather. It doesn't look like these guys are going through dangerous weather, so it looks like we're okay to fly through there. In the meantime, more probes, I guess. Carbon, silicon, I oh know, iron, silicon. Come on, just had it. Okay. Uh, we can get that done, and so we're going to have, you are going to be eventually ice, uh, you're going to be our workshop, because we're going to remove the workshop from up here, uh, we're also going to population put in, actually I'm not going to put in the housing now, because we might end up upgrading the housing, uh, you are still under optimal work conditions with, what's that, five spare, can I ship out five peoples, uh, what? That says 51, and the other one says 60. Uh, wrong overlay. Are they, they're in the hospital. Okay. Uh, only workers from 1 to 3, and I think you said 5. And that, that was 10. Workers are required, workers are available. See, it still says optimal, even though that's suboptimal, but sure. All right, so we found more peepsicles, which means we can bring them aboard the ship and shove them over here and defrost them. Extra hours, I thought so. Cancel migration. Great. They instantly appear back. Uh, one to three. Only workers. Five. 
Okay, we're just gonna have to do lots of little trips. Uh, a ship has there we go. At its destination. All right, uh, you are bleeding through materials. We have silicon is almost maxed out. Okay, one thing we can do now, hull integrity is uh, okay ish, 74 power. I sort of want to add more power to the ship because this is going to use 10 and this will use like 30. It's it's uh, seven for the first building. Then each one of these uses another three and we've got nine of them, which is 27 plus the seven. It's like 34 power. It's also a lot of steel. Um, so yeah. Okay, we have not enough work. Oh, they have, workers haven't arrived yet, have they? No, they can take a couple of sectors. Uh, we do have 10 free workers. Okay, sector two to sector three. Uh, let's just double check. Uh, I have at least 10. Okay, so let's ship. Only workers, two to three, 10. Okay, because somehow we've gone back on our extra hours. All right, uh, back out to here. We're, we've been to Fargo. We picked up the cargo probe. Uh, iron, iron, that's a lot of iron. I'll take a lot of iron. Uh, all right, Valiant. All right, what's it, Valiant? So, uh, Planet Variant is dead and devoid of activity of any kind. However, our scans have located the remains of a ship in orbit of the planet. Wreck of the UN worship, uh, Hazanaga? Yes. Orbit's Valiant 1 twist of fate. It seems to be hunting down dollar survivors. Fell upon something even more dangerous than itself. We have a vision of a cluster of UN emergency cryopods drifting towards Valiant 71. If we don't intervene, they'll enter the atmosphere and atmosphere and be incinerated oh that sounds so horrible after they hunted down our other ship oops uh so we can recover materials uh we can attempt to recover the, the closest cryopods we can attempt to recover all the cryopods or we can just look at the wreck we have no idea exactly which ship hunted us down and as there's multiple ships for the un now i think analyzing the wreck is probably our best option all right uh back inside shippy shippy uh, research is ticking over. I need this running. I need people. We're always limited by people. Uh, Population transfer complete. Fortunately, I can't say, hey, just defrost the workers yet. Yet. We, we need a few more buildings before I can do that. Uh, okay. Optimal conditions. I have enough that hopefully I can turn on that. I can. And you'll need water. I don't have water for you yet, but that's a separate issue. I need to have you built. A probe has Extra hours. Yeah, scale. I thought that'd be the case. All right, uh, we're going to turn you on, and that way you can uncollect the water from there to there, because I'm going to want this wall for other things in the future. Uh, but if I can at least get a field up and running, that'll help us. That'll help us a lot. Uh, you have eight. If I turn you off and I turn you on, still at optimal. Cool, that works for me. All right, so you're going to bring in water. You will convert water, uh, ice into water. So it's 15 ice into 40 water, and then we have a water in the sector. Now, unfortunately, I don't have water already, which is a problem. So we're going to turn you off just till we have some water melted. All right, uh, science ship team. Valiant. Uh, okay. The hull's been punched by many small trillic objects uh, that orbit high speed around Valiant. However, some of the hull punches cannot be ascribed to this alone. The Though mostly destroyed, the technology is boys significantly more advanced compared to those of the Taiku. Uh, the team's mission reports will provide useful data and support our on our own ongoing research and development okay so we got the fire starter upgrade unlocked for the workshop so this is doesn't again i think i've mentioned this already doesn't give you a technology it gives you the ability to unlock the technology not a fan not a fan all right so that finishes off valiant we're going to grab the science from there probe wise do i have more options so that's the iron that we're about to go pick up uh that's the silicon and there's a item somewhere close to there. So the next probe will have to send over that way. All right, I need you to defrost uh, some water so we can get this up scale. and running. Because technically we're negative on food at the moment. As soon as we get this up and running, we get some farms in. 
we can then decommission the workers in this sector and ship them across and that'll solve our, most of our worker problems uh, oh crap I went over 500 okay I went over 500 we need to ship uh, only non-workers from sector 1 to sector 2 I have housing for 150 so we're just going to crank out 150 of them and ship them okay alright so that means that I don't no longer have a feeding issue because a mess hall only feeds up to 500 crew. There are technologies and researchers we can unlock that improve that, but for right now, that's what we're dealing with. All right. I still have iron here, so we're good. I still have carbon. I still have silicon. I have not many peepsicles. Uh, and workers. Okay, so again, back to the worker overlay. Uh, I have 30. Cool. Uh, can I go sector only workers, sector one to sector three? Uh, 30. Okay. That'll take two cycles. Uh, this sector has five. Five. It's not a lot, but it's something. Uh, we're not going to tweak those just yet, and we should be good. All right. So, ice, we have how much ice on board? 100 total that's 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 Population okay for right now complete. okay the workers haven't got here they've got we did the people move we're waiting on the workers they're still cycling a bit away and probe uh science 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 okay all right as soon as these people arrive we can turn on this and then we can start expanding it because that's really what i need to do has completed its scan. yeah i more care about the people arriving it's really what i'm waiting on population transfer complete cool all right so we can turn you on we have uh what's that 28 workers okay each farm's going to add four so that's four eight twelve sixteen twenty 24 now the airlock is in the way 100% agree it's in the way we sort of want the airlock here so I can do extended repairs if I need to that's really why the airlock's here we can get some research we might consider doing the research to be able to let us um, repair a little bit more efficiently but for right now we sort of need it up and running at least uh housing no wrong button housing for this sector we can hold 100 and we already have 90 here so let's put another housing right there and I also want a housing here so i can get rid of this housing this housing is not going to stay we're going to have uh three lots of well three farms very very long uh pause and pause and can i i can't list you for high priority no because you're already technically built uh, also, I need enough workers in here. Maybe we can do it now. All right. Policies. We can enact some policies. Now, policies are both very powerful, also very dangerous. First policy we want to enact is propaganda. It just means I can't make another policy change for 15 cycles compared to normally 10 cycles. But that's fine. Uh, it'll give us a plus one stability. Plus, the just having the, the item in here gives us plus one stability so we can get happiness by just putting in these things also they'll tell us about the specialization of the sector now currently sector three does not have a specialization Spe sector two we got no idea and sector one we have no idea because i haven't built the buildings but as soon as we get food sorted uh in this sector like i said we can start moving people across from the first sector which means i can just build farms quite happily without an issue as long as we make sure we don't run over ice now means we need to actually concentrate on ice which what's michael doing michael what are you doing what are you doing and where are you doing it uh you're going to head back home for a repair i'm guessing michael would normally be doing Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. So I need to actually up the priority on one of you guys so you actually mine ice. Because you're sort of prioritizing... It's left to right. It's left to right. So they're doing well, technically silicon and then carbon and then silicon before doing the ice. And I need to have at least a decent amount of ice in stock before we go too much further. All right. We're going to go over to Plymouth uh, 37 and probe-wise... Uh, 
I know there's stuff over here. We're not going to touch that because it's at the other side of the red bad zone. Uh, there is stuff here. Sure, let's go for that. All right. Uh, and Peepsy Fools, I'm down to 100 and something left. All right. Food. What are we up to? 105. Great. Can I turn you off? That's going to save me a couple of workers. We're at 100%. That's fine. I can deal with 100%. Uh, we're going to decommission you. And I'm going to decommission you. Do I have spare workers? I have some spare workers currently. I'm going to set you up to do iron just to get transportation of materials done in this sector a little bit faster. All right. And we have plenty of ice coming in. Also, we can hold up to a thousand water, which is an awful lot of water. Uh, you seem to be fine still. And I... 112 now. Okay. So with 112 now, you've cleared off your useless farms. So we can now start looking at decommissioning other things in this sector. Uh, well, other things in this sector, like these farms. I don't need them. Uh, 101. Great. Can I make you go away? Yes. And you go away? Yes. And that'll give us steel in this sector, which is set to hopefully a reasonable amount. Let's go down to just 50 in this sector. And hopefully we can get it shipped out to the other sectors. All right. Mainly this sector. This is the one that's going to be start using a lot of steel. All right. I need to unpause you and unpause you. So at least we can get them built. And workers, you're about to use another four. Okay, so that means back to sector one for the micromanagement of handling prop, uh, property. Uh, people, we have 273. Okay, so 273, which means I have at least 30 from one to three. Uh, only workers, 30. Okay, the other thing we can do with the cryopods, which is something I want to do, is I want to set a population limit for our third sector of 500. That's the most we can feed. At the same time, I can say, hey, non-workers, automatically ship them over to here. Mm, well, workers. Uh, non-workers will keep in this one population limit of 500. Hopefully, uh, actually, no, we're going to ship them to here instead. Hopefully it means new peeps of girls will automatically get shipped out. Now, in theory, this system works. I've had nothing but problems with it, so we will see. But in theory, this is how the system works. All right. With our DLSS, uh, DLS Center unlocked, I want to look at a whole bunch of things. EVA repair efficiency increased by 5%. So are we still losing hull? We're not. We're technically gaining it ever so slowly. A probe has completed its scan. Technically. If I add 5% efficiency, we can then repair it fast. Now, don't forget, the more damage the hull is, the higher the efficiency is, therefore, the more hull points they'll repair per cycle. So, generally, it'll eventually stabilize. But, I'd like it more repaired, obviously. Um, my other option is... And I think it's exactly what we're going to do because power is starting to get a little bit dicey. We're going to put another set of solar panels on the outside of the ship. Yes. Okay. We should get that transported. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Fairly quickly. Yeah. Uh, okay. The problem is we're now in our extra work hours, which means there's a higher chance somebody else is going to have a boo boo. Uh, can I turn that off? Cool. That'll do us for the moment till people go through the medical beds and get out of the medical beds. Okie dokie. All right, back to this sector. So we've got our first farm up and running and we have plenty of workers. We're going to unpause you and, no, and then click on that and then put in fields. One, two, no. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Delete roads. Uh, those ones and those ones. Uh, where are you? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's automatically going to upgrade the power usage as you add the farms, even if they're not built. Word of the wise. Nine. That's how far out we're going to build the farms. As you can see, it uses most of the sector up. Okay. We're also going to carefully food. Uh, start rearranging all the other uh, items we have in the sector. So I'm going to put our... Not our insect farm, our mess hall, uh, here instead. Now, I'm going to power it down because I don't need it running whilst the other one's not running. Yeah. Uh, could I have done a zigzag on the roads? Could have technically done a zigzag and got out 
an extra tile? Maybe? Do I want to do my zigzag? Is a tile going to help me in the long run? Probably. Uh, you can do ice, which unfortunately we're out of. You can go away. And you can go away eventually. Yeah, let's get the other construction jobs done first. Uh, okay. Ice, ice, baby. What is the story with the ice? Uh, there's none available to mine. So glute is hopefully off mining ice. and he's found carbon. Okay, it's fine. All right. Uh, so we got this. We've done those two upgrades. They're a little bit more healthy. Uh, okay, we're going to get a waste... Yeah, we're going to get the waste treatment plant. Okay, it's tied to the DLS center. All right, food is now up to 112%, uh, which means you and you, we're going to turn off. 101% uh, great, and we can then decommission both those buildings. Also, that's going to free up a couple of workers here, which hopefully I can ship into here, yep, into here to supplement the ones that are currently in the sick bay. H having a break, having a break. Uh, how much do you, how, how many do you want? Uh, you want 30, right? Okay, and I have not quite 30, but I have 20. Uh, so we're going to go only workers sector one to sector two, 20 migrate. Okay. And food is at 114, which automatically moves, uh, means I can turn another one of those off and also decommission. Okay. Like I said, cleaning up bit by bit. All right. Uh, this sector is getting built out. They're going to get removed eventually. Uh, we're probably also going to move the, or remove the, uh, airlock that we built it's technically built but we haven't done anything with it and how is this going 32 percent that's getting very low hang on this is repairing again oh it's done okay because it's done because we're now more damaged the efficiency goes up like i said and we're now doing plus 20 per cycle so that's not bad uh plymouth so, our probe has detected the presence of cavities beneath the planet's surface. Reading, uh, the readings were picked up from these chambers, are similar to those of strong nuclear reactions. Sounds perfect. We've landed on Plymouth, and the opaque atmosphere lets in hardly any light. Uh, geological formations on the planet's surface resemble giant emerald waves frozen in time. We're set up near the location of one of these cavities. So, we inform, uh, perform an intrusive analysis. With explosives, uh, we can set up a temporary study center for 20, 20 steel and three cycles, or we can establish uh, infrastructure support, exploration, and geolo geological analysis. We're gonna go for that one because steel is um, it's fine. We don't mind. Uh, we're looking for a ship on the way to the Taiku that has a low travel time. So, Arch is destination tri uh, Taiku. Uh, travel time 0.8, oh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Okay, so we're going to grab Lucian, uh, who will land here and then leave at the same time. Double check, what was Lucian in charge of? Ice, of course he was. All right, uh, probes. Sure, I'll have that, I'll have that. All right, so that, Lucian's going to have to do a couple of transfers, and then we should be fine. Uh, but we are slowly mining through everything. Well, slowly picking up everything. Uh, we're, we're limited by mining speed. And fleet. Michael is a tier 2. And glute is also a tier 2. But these are also tier 2s. No. The new ones are obviously tier 1. But the, the old ones are all tier 2 as well now. Alright, as for science ships, I should mention this. Uh... Gear can get upgraded to tier 2, but in my experience, I there's no tier 3 for a science ship. They just hit tier 2 and that's it. So, oh, and the science goes from 30 per cycle to 45 per cycle, which, honestly, you're not spending that long picking up science, so it doesn't really matter. All right. Uh, back inside the ship, we should have uh, food 119. Okay. So, food, this sector, is set to 20. Uh, food, this sector is set to 100. Food, this sector is set to 40. We are going to have a problem with food when it comes to these, these, these particular farms. They only harvest every 10 cycles. So they make a crap ton of food once every 10 cycles. 
something to keep in mind. Something big to keep in mind. Uh, building not powered, but it's been demolished, right? Did I not with the demolish button? I did. I did. Uh, Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Fifty. Fifty. Uh, request is in this sector. What are you unhappy about? Novelty eating crops grown in space delights the crew, even if purely uh, uh, perpetual. Uh, the turning of ordinary into the extraordinary can have a profound effect on judgment, elevating the otherwise humble to the sublime. Well, we ended last episode with me being an awesome administrator. We're going to end this, this episode the exact same. I am an awesome administrator. They are incredibly happy that they're eating less bugs. They're still eating bugs, but um, there's less of them now. So I think we're going to leave this episode here the same as we left the last episode. It seems like a good place to any. As always, um, I need to thank you guys for watching ever so much. At the same time, I may remind you that, you know, I asked for a like before. It, it, can, I, can, I, can I have one now if I didn't get one before? Also, do me a favor. It, it, it's important. Just scroll down. Look at the subscribe button. Is it red or is it gray black depending on your, your your choice of os and browser because you know if it's red that means you haven't clicked on it there, there is a chance you may think you've clicked on it there's also a chance you may not have so just can you have a look at it for me and look, tell me tell me down in the comment section did you subscribe did you subscribe i'd be cu curious anyway with all that said i'm gonna leave this episode here this is gonna give me another 10 percent trust just like the one did for the last episode which doesn't help me because they already trust me 100 percent because i am an awesome administrator because that's what the text says anyway with all that said Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next video. All right. Bye.